We shall start with Mage Felicia Lolo. Mage Felicia Lolo is widow to Theophilus Viva Lolo, who was assassinated in Swaziland in Baban in May 1987. Good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Felicia Lolo, and I'm the wife of Theophilus Viva Lolo, who unfortunately lost his life on the 22nd of May 1987 in this country. May I just start off by uh, observing protocol, by saying, Your Majesty, uh, Prince David, you are, you, are, you are acknowledged by myself. I will not go through all the protocol that is normally required, but just to say thank you to everybody who has come to share this special day with us. So greetings to all. I'd like to thank the Masilela family for all the hard work that they've put into today. It's very obvious that they've really planned this well in advance. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank the Masilela family again because it was through them that my husband and I were able to get married. And it was through them that I was able to be comforted five months later when he died. But before I start telling the, 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 the audience about aspects of my life, in what I have done since 1987. I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of my boss in the room, Mr. Robert McBride, who is the executive director of the Independent Police um, Investigative Directorate in South Africa. Thank you, sir, for honoring this day. Thank you very much, sir, for honoring this day with us and sharing this day and the memories with us. We also acknowledge the hard work that you are putting today in, in, in South Africa to make sure that the hard-won freedoms are entrenched. I also want to pay tribute to all the widows that are present today. And please, I'd like everybody not to look at us as widows. We are also freedom fighters in our own right. I do pray that someday all the widows will be acknowledged, not just as widows, but as freedom fighters. A lot of people do not know that soon after my husband was murdered, I was actually a prohibited immigrant in Swaziland. I do not hold any hard feelings for this beautiful country. I do understand that the country was in a difficult situation. I want to thank the United Nations High Commission for Refugees for having embraced me at the time, for affording me refugee status and protecting me up till 1995 when I made the decision to come back home. I want to thank the people of Zambia. I don't know if there are any Zambians in the room, but I want to thank the people of Zambia for also embracing me during the nine months that I fled to your country. Above all, above all, I'd like to thank the people of the United Kingdom because it was through the United Kingdom that I was able to pursue all my postgraduate studies. I know about all the hard work that was done. I'm aware of the concert that was held at Wembley in 1988 to celebrate my Diva's 70th birthday. Some of us benefited from that musical concert. I was able to continue with my studies because of that concert. I was, like I said, I was able to also do my studies and I was able to meet so many people from around the world. Last but not least, I'd like to acknowledge my children, Tula Sizwe, who is a lecturer at the University of Pretoria, and my son, Matpawe, who's with the South African Police Service. I want you to know that you forever remain in the heart of my heart. You have made me what I am today. Thank you very much. I'm proud of you.